Hello, my dear students. Welcome to my computer science class. So, students, we were discussing the chapter formula and functions in MS Excel. This is the seventh chapter from class six computer science book, IT Planet, and this is the second part of. this chapter in the first part we have studied about the introduction of what is what are the different formula what is a formula function and what is a cell reference range the different operators and the order of calculation and different types of errors so this was the introduction now today we will discuss about creating a formula how can we create a formula if we have a table or some data so let us start so this is our table in which we will feed the formula so first of all you should always remember that a formula starts with an equal to sign so if you want the excel to identify that you are feeding a formula you have to first put in equal to sign so the first step is click on the cell where you want to enter the formula so i am clicking this cell what is the cell reference of this this cell it is f4 so i have clicked this cell now the thick outside border shows that this is an active cell now first of all what we will do we will put a equal to sign so whatever you are typing will be displayed here also this is the formula bar this formula bar activates as soon as you put an equal to sign in the cell so ye jo aapka excel hai jaise hi aap kisi cell mein equal to ka sign put karte ho then aapka excel usko formula ki tarah se treat karne lagta hai this is your formula bar whatever you will feed here that same formula will appear here also so the first uh, process is now after equal to if i was suppose i want the sum total of all these four hame in sab ka ko add karna hai so what will we will do very simple after equal to click on this automatically b4 cell reference is written then i i want to add so i have to put the operator plus so i am putting plus symbol then the next cell you just have to click the next cell and excel will automatically put the cell reference so c4 then i am putting again a plus symbol then again i have clicked this cell then a plus symbol and then this keyboard so all four whatever you want to put you can select the cell automatically uh, select the cell and excel will feed the values automatically and then you just have to press enter i am pressing the enter button in your my in my laptop and the result is displayed here you can see the result it is 3000 but when you will click on this cell this formula bar will show the formula and the result is here so you have to remember that whatever formula you are typing if you want to view your formula you have to look at the formula bar so this was the way how can you create a formula and the result is displayed here now second most important thing second is entering a formula secondly you can do one more thing you can feed it manually like i have Uh, selected the cells if i don't want to select the cells look here now i have selected the column uh, cell f5 that is why a thick outside border is you can see here and i want to feed the formula manually here i have selected the cells now the second way of entering a formula is putting an equal to sign here it is written uh, 1400 or the cell is b5 so i will write b5 manually then a plus sign it is c5 c5 then again a plus sign d5 d5 then again a plus sign it is e5 e5 and then i will put i will press the enter button 
and the answer is 3400 you can try it yourself whether the answer is correct or not okay now we can edit the formula also how can we edit the formula you just have to click on the cell and the formula bar displays the um, the formula so I want I, I don't want to include the value of keyboard so what I will do I will just click here and I will delete e5 and then I'll put I'll press the enter button now you can see I am selecting the cell you can see the formula it is b5 plus c5 and d5 e5 is not included so in this way you can edit the formula I have simply deleted one you can uh, if you want to put a subtraction sign here you can subtract the value now the value is something different because I have subtracted d5 from the sum of b5 and c5 the sum of uh, monitor and pin printer I have subtracted the mouse now a very important feature of MS Excel that is copying a formula suppose I have typed the formula here and I want the same formula to be copied in all these cells so I am not going to write every time the formula so for that I am deleting this calculation because it was for uh, the for showing you all the different calculations now I will select this cell then I will uh, place my mouse cursor here at the bottom right corner a different type of like here the plus symbol is in white color and here a different type of plus symbol up, is appearing I will press my left mouse button and I will drag the cells till I want the formula to be copied and I will leave the mouse button and you can see the formula is copied here it is from b4 to b4 c4 d4 and e4 here it is for b5 c5 d5 e5 in the same way this is for the sixth row b6 c6 d6 e6 it is b7 c7 d7 e7 you can check the formula here so in this way you can copy the formula without typing it each and every time or without um, if you uh, cop simply co cut and paste or copy and paste here what will happen the cell reference will not change but here the cell reference is also changing accordingly so it is a very special feature that is the how uh, that is copying the formula now the next feature of this function and formula is displaying formulas so I want to check the formula of this one you we can I know we can see here but if I want the same formula to be displayed in this cell what I have to do it is on home tab you will click the formula button and here in the ribbon there is a function called show formulas you just have to click on it and automatically you can see the formulas are displayed here here one at a time a single a formula of a single cell will be displayed but here all the formulas which we have used are displayed and if I want again want okay, I have checked the formulas I want to change it I will click this button again and again the calculation part or numerical part is visible so in this way I can check the formula in the cell itself so this was about the uh, function uh, formulas which you can feed yourself now the different functions which we will complete in the third part so practice this much students will practice functions in the next part thank you students